got two tickets. For an exclusive behind the scenes look at the opening of Funko HQ. On the win! The, the Big, Big Marvel, Marvel Show! Show! Hey, I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And where are we? Oh, we're at Funko HQ in Everett, <laughs> Washington to show you the cool stuff that's happening here. It's behind the scenes before the doors open. By the time you guys see this, this place will be gone. They'll no. have destroyed it. They'll no, take no, no, it all down. No, 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 no. This store is going to stay here. Are you sure? Yes, indefinitely. It'll be here. And if you guys notice right behind me, we have something cool that you might have seen before on Twitter, the Big Marvel Show, which is Marvel Studios Thor Ragnarok pops and figures, which we actually debuted right here on the show. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're very cool. But Ryan, don't listen. Don't fill up because I gotta. I gotta no, we have. There's so much more to see. There's so there's so much stuff. So we're gonna take a look around. If <laughs> I can get Ryan out of here. I got all the hooks. First up, we're at Fred's Market. Freddy Funko is the mascot for Funko, and this is his market where they have ice cold pops and red hot dorbs. Yeah, uh, really cool pops like this Lockjaw, or you know, you have stuff from Daredevil, Jessica Jones, all the TV shows, plus the movies. I see some Captain America Civil War stuff behind us, plus classic stuff. So it's a and, good mix. Oh my god, your hands are still I so know, cold. I know, they're so cold, but you guys, we must be in Forest Hills, Queens, because Peter Spinnerman's apartment is upstairs, and he's having a battle. Lorraine, who's your big green swole friend? Well, this is the Hulk, and there are many other swole friends around Funko, like this guy, and lots of other ones. Hey guys, does this Funko truck look familiar? It sure does, Lorraine. Where would I have seen it before? In the Marvel Funko shorts, which were original animated shorts that featured Marvel characters with the Funko style look about them. Ryan, are you, um, what's... There's chimichangas in here. What? Well, we gotta take a chimichanga break, but right now, why don't you check out this Thwippy Award? This week, we recognize a legend. And the Thwippy Award goes to none other than the legend himself, Jack the King Kirby. Now, not only did Jack Kirby create some of Marvel's greatest characters, but he developed his own art technique, the Kirby Crackle, which changed the way comics were made. So, happy 100th birthday to the king of comics, Jack Kirby, this one's for you. And if you think someone or something deserves a Thwippy Award, nominate them by emailing thwip at marvel.com. This episode is sponsored by Funka. Now it's time for Social Hour, where we take your tweets and your Yubtub comments with our special guest, Mark. I'm special? I, yes. Yeah, all totally right. Specialist. You let us come here and do all this fun stuff. So mm -hmm. we're going to bring you in for a special social hour. We got a bunch of tweets coming in. So first Oof. is Captain Bucky Barnes says, uh, "Is there a giant pop of Stan Lee? If not, someone please get that added." What's this? It, it's actually not a pop. That is a vinyl idol. So we actually do have a line, a different line of product other than pop, and it's called Vinyl Idols, and he is one of them. And can you purchase that? You can. You can what? actually purchase those. Oh, Neat. you can have your own Stan Lee cameo. We do make Stan Lee pops and dorbs, though, as well, but that one is a vinyl idol. Cool. And he looks great here. Uh, Fetty Campo says, any plans to bring some Nova to the Marvel collection? And good luck with the opening. Well, thank you for the, for the well wishes. Uh, I would love to see Nova. I don't know. I think the question is, which version? All of them. Ooh, tell us which one you want. Settled. Yes. Uh, Jiggy Cruz asks, what's the most requested Marvel pop that hasn't been produced yet? That is a tough question. Um, I think that we probably get the most questions, honestly, about um, Kilgrave from Jessica Jones. Mm. We did not include him in that wave for reasons that are very unbeknownst to me, and I'm still outraged. Outraged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one nerd, Ron, has a question for the two of us. Oh. What did either of you enjoy most about your visit or most surprised about seeing at Funko HQ? I think it's that mm. it's like Funko Land. Like it really feels almost like its own little Funko theme park, and I felt very immersed, which yes. I liked. Yeah, totally. And all that, there's a really cool Spider Man billboard from the Daily Bugle. I just thought that. There's so many little details and it has so much character. Mark, what's your favorite part of the Marvel area? Uh, I think it is the tiny little Ant-Man that's hidden right up there, which I don't know if you guys... Oh, I didn't even you, see Right? Him. See, and it is. It's the little details that like are kind of tucked away in all of the corners here. You really kind of have to, to look and see everything, but I thought that was adorable when I saw it. And it's also right next to a pigeon 
and that's pretty amazing that pigeons have a place here too in Marvel Land. It's very yeah. New York. I'm gonna steal it. Uh, Guilty X says, I would actually love to see custom Funko Pops of the two of us. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can um, we make this happen? How much is? How many is he gonna buy? Yeah, how many? What's, what's the order? I mean, then if he buys enough of them, sure. Probably like a million. Yeah. Oh. Like. Yeah. Two ten, million. Ten mil. Ten majillion. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Great. Okay. Guaranteed. <laughs> That's it. And that's it, you guys. That's it for us. But send us your tweets and your comments and hashtag Marvel Thwip. Tell us what your favorite Funko Pop from today was. And that's it. I'm Lorraine. I'm Mark. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Oh, hi. We didn't see you there. If you like this, please like this and subscribe to Luke. Or over here to this guy. You can watch the last episode. You know, they call it hot, but it should be cold. <laughs> I killed Ryan. <laughs>